You're all second mission. Thank you. You guys doing what I think you're doing? We're familiarizing ourselves with all points of entry. So you can storm the place? We're gonna do whatever it takes to save your kids. message for John, hopefully he calls me back. Where the hell did Eli take Star and our daughter? Cole. Sorry. No. I'm the one who's sorry. For what? I have to tell you something terrible. Last night I had a dream that Star and Hope were dead. Alright, I got some bad news. They don't have the veggie burger anymore. So you got me the big and meaty? Okay, so just have the curly fries. One bag of those is worth 3,000 crunches, you know that, right? Oh my god, so sorry. Oh hey, I didn't say I wouldn't have any. Oh, but think of your ass. Of course. Stop, we're here to watch Dr. Saybrook's house, not get our flirt on. So could you put the romance on hold for a minute? And keep your eye out for Hannah, please? Sooner or later, she's gonna come out of there and lead us right to Star. All right? Okay? Okay. <sighs> Natalie, what are you doing here? I'm gonna see John. Where is he? He's taking the lead at the warehouse. Are you all right? No, I'm fine, but I gotta see John. It's 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 urgent. It'll have to wait. It can't wait. I need to see him right now. He's dealing with Eli, Natalie. The guy has three hostages. How about four hostages? He's got Star, Danny, and Hope, and he's got one more. I swear to you, Eli, if you hurt my daughter, what? I will kill you. Don't you love it? How people who've never so much as killed a rat can be so liberal with their guns. I've killed plenty of rats in my life. Oh, really? Well, then how'd you ever miss Todd? Right, let's go, Dollface. Where are you taking her? Will you relax? Already? Pretty soon Danielle's gonna be back with her father, just like you want. Wait, wait, what about my mom? What about her? Are you letting your girl too? Actually, no. She's gonna stay here. Why? Look, Hannah's lucky she made it this far. Because if it weren't for Greg Evans, Mommy Dearest would be long dead. It's not possible. You would never do anything to help that maniac. I wish you were right, Des. But your faith in me, I, um... I don't deserve it. Why would you work with Eli Clark? The man's hurt people. Killed people. There's only one way this could have happened. Elijah Clark was forcing you, wasn't he? He gave me a choice. What choice? Either I help him or he'd expose the truth. What truth? What did Eli Clark have on you, Greg? that I betrayed my family. Oh, please, please, Eli, we can't leave her. We can't leave my oh, mom. I'm sorry. No. That's the way it's coming. No, but my dad's here. I'll give you whatever you want. No, it's, please. Like, it's really nice of you to have faith in Todd. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't. So I'll give you just a little insurance in case Todd decides to pull a fast one. Pretty likely. No. So take a stay. No, please. No, please. Oh, hush now. Hush, hush, hush. No. Much better. We'll have you ruining the surprise. Move it! Yes, sir. It's Marty. I'll fill her in. Thanks, Bob.
Hey, we've got news. Have we figured out the best point of entry yet? South side, around the corner from the loading doors. There's no windows, so Clark's got no sight line. All right, have your men standing by, ready to go. So you got a cowboy up, is that the plan? Just have my family in there? You heard me, Manning. Swatch just standing by, but we need to be ready. Well, then that's some of Hey, look, take it easy, all right? Listen, there are kids in there. My kids are in there. My daughter, my granddaughter. Right, and I understand that, all right? And we are going to do this as safe as we can, but we need to be ready. For what? I hand over the cash, he hands over the girls. Doesn't get much safer than that. Unless Clark changes the rules. That's him. Yeah, Clark, it's McBain. I guess I'm running the show now. Johnny. Wow, you've rolled out quite the welcome wagon. I'm really touched. You ready for this exchange? Well, that depends, John. I don't see the helicopter I asked for. Yeah, it's not here. Wow. That's really disappointing. There was no room to land one. We have one in a helipad of a couple blocks from here. I got a van, GPS, ready to take you there. The ransom's inside. <laughs> a van. A van, really, that's not what we agreed on. Yeah, well, that's the reality. No, the reality is... I'm in charge, not you. Now, I will consider your change of plans, but only after I speak to my wife. Put Blair on the phone. I know it's awful, and I'm sorry. It's just... This dream was... really real. It was like... I don't know, like, my subconscious was preparing me for but the... don't, don't, don't say it. Star and Hope are going to be fine. It's just... Eli is a psychopath. Well, he's not the first one that John's had to deal with. He's going to find Clark, and he's going to rescue Star and Hope. I hope you're right. I am right. And as soon as Star and our daughter comes home, we're going to fix everything that's gone wrong between us. We're going to get things back the way they were, the way they're supposed to be. Hey, anybody got any aspirin? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I do. Are you okay? Oh, he just killed himself at the gym again yesterday. Nothing new. You're still sore from that? Uh, it doesn't help that I've been cooped up in a car for several hours, waiting to see if my crazy ex has a fatal attraction for coal. Dude, I mean, come on. This is not about you, it's about hope and star. <sighs> my abs are different. You know what, fine, you wanna go, just go, I don't care. We're in my car. Okay, okay, no one is going anywhere. Not until we get some answers about star. How long before that happened? As long as it takes. I thought he only had Star, Hope, and Danielle. Yeah, well, there's a good chance that there's someone else, and I have got to get in there and tell John what's going on so he knows what he's dealing with. I can't radio him in the middle of an operation like Okay, then let me go the in there. You know I can't let you anywhere near the strike zone. He needs to know. Tia Delgado is alive, and I think Eli has her. Don't mind if I do. Delicious. I'll keep it around you. Matthew, what are you doing here? I thought you were at BE, going over that list of potential acquisitions. I took a break. It's Stessie's birthday. Doesn't look like much of a party. Well, it's over now. Her brother Greg just woke up. She and her parents went over to the hospital. I guess we'll finally find out if Dr. Evans is in cahoots with that maniac. They're delicious. What do you do? Don't let him get to you. What do you want? My blushing bride. You look ravishing as ever, by the way. Let the kids go, Eli. Soon. But only after I'm certain that Bane is committed to ending this peacefully. He is. Are you? Of course I am. I'll do anything for the kids. Know that. Because the only way you get what you want is if you leave here with me.
This town is no good for either of us, Blair. Let me take you away from here. So we can have the life together we were always meant to have. How do I know that you'll let the kids go? Because the only kids I want are the ones you and I are going to have together. Now, if you're so concerned about these other ones, all you need to do is get in the van, and then I'll come out with these kids, and everyone will see they're okay. It's you or them, Blair. What's it going to be? Let me through, Brody! Slow down, you're not making any sense. I thought Taya Delgado died of cancer. Yeah, that's what everyone was led to believe, including Taya, but she was never really sick. It was Eli, all along. How could that be? Because he had Greg Evans in his back pocket. You know, when Greg was supposedly treating Taya for cancer, all along he was poisoning her, so she thought that she was dying. In reality, she was as healthy as you and me. How do you know all this? Because Greg Evans confessed. What do you mean? What's the secret Eli knew about? How did you betray our family? Listen, I... Sean, your father and I need to have a word with Greg. Go ahead. Alone. Mom, I need to have my say. Greg, listen to your mother. I need you two to wait outside. That's not going to happen. If Greg has something he wants to tell us, why can't we hear it? Destiny, your father wasn't asking. Now you need to leave, both of you. Now. Come on, dear. Mom, it's Gregory, you know, I know what you're thinking about look, doing. I can't stay quiet anymore. I'm through keeping this secret. Son, let's talk this through. Oh, no, it's too late for that, Dad. I've already told the police what I did for Eli. It's only a matter of time before they figure out why. And then the whole story's out. Not necessarily. Mom. Dad, I love you both, but I have to do this. Sean and Destiny need to know the truth. Over my dead body. What do you think's going on? I don't know. It seems like mommy and dad already know whatever it is Greg was going to tell us. And whatever it is, it's big. I hope it's not true about Greg, for Destiny's sake. Could hurt a lot of people. Well, like his patients? Oh, his patients? Every hospital that ever hired him? Hell, even me. I was the one who brought him to town to operate on you. Well, he's innocent until proven guilty, right? Mm -hmm. Tell that to the press. I might have to do some damage control. Well, if you need any help. You want help? Whatever I can do. Well, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that. And you're doing a hell of a job. You know that, don't you? <laughs> what, filing and copying? Well, more than that. How about when you caught that snake in the grass, Rex Balsam, when he broke into my office? I just called security. You did more than that. You showed a quality most prized by the Buchanans. Loyalty. Your first instinct was to protect the company, not to mention the family. <laughs> From Rex? Hell yes. What were those files about? Corporate secrets. Rex was trying to steal corporate secrets. Are you serious? Yeah, don't be surprised. Bolson would do anything for money. So what do you think's gonna happen to him? Well, you don't have to worry about that. I dealt with him by reminding him how much he has to lose. That slideshow was amazing. You really think so? Yes. The way you described all those paintings, the brush strokes, the use of light, I felt like I could see exactly how they were created. It was fascinating. The people napping in the back might disagree with No you. one was napping. Gigi, they were snoring so loud I thought the projector broke. Well, it's their loss. I could look at those paintings for hours. You really like the French Impressionist, huh? My favorite was the Renoir. The girl combing her hair? Yeah, how she's turned away from the viewer. You think at first that she's just concentrating on what she's doing, but the more you look at it, it's like she knows you're there, like she's got a secret. And if you figured it out, maybe she would look back at you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just that, um, that was Layla's favorite too. I just 
got off the phone with Bo. John found Eli Clark. Or Star and Hope there? They don't know for sure. Uh, Todd has agreed to be Well, where are they? The police have the site blocked off. They're not going to let us pass the barricade. Well, then that's as far as we'll go. Cool. Well, I can't wait here and do nothing. Would you just wait at home if Eli had me and Dad? Of course not. Hannah? No, it's fine. Go. I, I don't want to get in the way. Look, we can take my car. Uh, you be all right here? Yeah, sure. All right. We'll be back as soon as we can. Okay. I'll be fine. I've got plenty to keep me occupied. Maybe one of us should go around the other side just in case Hannah comes out the back. Dude, her car's parked right there. Well, what if she decides to take a walk? I mean, if she doesn't want anybody to see her, she's probably not going to hop in her car. Okay, you know what? Can you just stay focused on the front door, please? Thank you. I wish we could get the police involved with this. And tell them we think Hannah kidnapped Star? <laughs> Based on what? A hunch about some lost chain? Why not? They already know Hannah was so obsessed with Cole that she lied about Star's dad attacking his mom. Right, lying is one thing, but kidnapping? Come on, the cops wouldn't even give us the time of day, especially after we helped Danny hide from Ross. Hey, you guys, there's somebody coming out of the house. It's Cole and his mom. Oh, yeah, they're moving pretty fast. Where were they going in such a rush? I don't know. Let me talk to this guy. What's going on? Hey, listen, good. Manning brought you your money, all right? I got a, a nice shiny van here ready to take you to the chopper, and that's all you get. Yeah, but this whole LPD rental car service was never really part of the plan, John. That's why it's getting into position. Yeah, well, the situation on the ground changed. Until I see those kids, you get nothing else. Well, it looks like Blair disagrees. I'll give you what you want, Eli. Let him go, Eli. What are you doing? That's my girl. <laughs> Danny! Danny! <laughs> where, where are Star and Hope? Eli! Take that gun off my daughter right now. Shut up, Todd. No one's gonna get hurt. As long as McBain does what I tell him to do. Danny, stay calm, stay brave. This will be over soon. Why doesn't he have Hope and Star? Clark, where are Hope and Star? <laughs> Tell your men to stand down. Nothing happens till we see all the hostages alive and well. Oh, well, then we have a problem. <laughs> I can't give you Star and Hope. I wonder if Cole and his mom got word about Star. No way. Hannah would have made a break for it if he did, but she's still in there. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe it has nothing else. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Have some of that. Well, oh, Hannah, yeah. Hannah definitely has something to do with this, you guys. We just have to wait for her to make her move. <coughs> we got to figure it out, because I can't sit here <coughs> much longer. Well, you wouldn't have this problem if you didn't feel the need to stop and flex every time you saw your reflection. <sighs> Where would you get your eye candy? How exactly did you hurt yourself at the gym? Free weights, why? Do free weights make you cough up blood? Why would Greg Evans work with a serial killer? Well, it wasn't by choice. Eli had something on him. What? I, I don't know, but Greg was able to turn the tables on Eli. He faked Taya's death, and then he moved her to a clinic in Cherryville, and then Eli must have found her or Wait, figured it out. Wait, the same clinic where John almost caught Eli? Yes, there was a nurse there that said that Evans was, was treating a woman. That patient disappeared the same day John saw Eli drive away. I, I, I think that Eli must have found Taya and took her prisoner. You're right, John needs to know. All right, let's go. No, I'll go. No, Brody! I'm not letting you within 100 yards of that scene. You know what, Brody? I've got an ID just like you. And you were pregnant. And I'm not an invalid. I'm not taking any chances. Don't argue with me, okay? There's enough going on without you risking your life. If something happened to you, I couldn't take it. Don't you know how much you and that baby mean to me? You're not thinking, Greg. Dad, I've done nothing but think all these years. I have to stop lying. Why? You have to ask? Who is this going to help? Is this so that you can feel better? Hmm? So that you can ease your conscience? What about the rest of us? Now, you aren't the only one who has to live with the consequences. So you want to keep living like this? Like what? <laughs> Safe? Happy? Healthy? Surrounded by the family we built? 
And not just the five of us. What about, about our community, huh? Our family, our, our friends. I can't keep thinking about them. Son, if you open your mouth, you'll destroy everything that we have. Dad, Mom, I have to tell the truth. I have to believe that the family we've built is stronger than the lies I've been telling. We've waited long enough. Whatever you're fighting about, it's time to let us in on it. You're both right. It is time. Let us. Look, Destiny, there's something that your mother and I have to tell you and Sean, and it's not going to be easy. What? Is Greg okay? No, baby, Greg is fine. Greg is going to be fine. It, it isn't that. What's it about? It's about family, son. And we're going to deal with this as a family. But before we do that, Destiny, your mother and I need you to know how much we love you. Oh, so much. And no matter what you hear here, that isn't going to change. It'll never change, no matter what. What are you talking about? Your father and I, we're not your real parents. Stay put, Maddie, don't screw up now. Give me my daughter. Give me my daughter and my granddaughter back, or I swear to God, I just, Honey, calm down. Don't tell her to calm down. If you laid a hand on their hands, I swear I will kill you. They're in the warehouse, Blair. <laughs> no harm has come to Star at Hope. Just get in the van. We'll make the exchange. It's hinging on you now, Blair. All right, now all that's gonna change if John and his men try anything before you and I are way far away from Landview. You got me? Now, I've rigged this whole warehouse with explosives. All it takes is a press of this button. Bye-bye, love. Me and my big mouth. You like the painting. That just happens to be Layla's favorite. And a lot of other people's favorite. You know, there's a reason I showed it in class. Yeah, but how many of those people convinced you it'd be a good idea to fly to Paris at the last minute? It was a good idea. Yeah, maybe to Paris, Texas. A plane ticket costs as much as my car. Which is why I'm gonna book my ticket for next month now. Oh, I completely forgot. What? I turned my phone off and Rex is supposed to call me. So why didn't you turn Rex over to the police? I had my reasons. You didn't want to see him end up in jail? Hardly. I would gladly let the little weasel rot in jail for the rest of his days. Just like anybody else who would threaten his family. So then why didn't you? Well, I didn't want to hurt Bo. For some reason, your father uh, cares about that guy. And Natalie? She still thinks that low life has a brother. I need your word you won't leave. Promise me. Brody! Natalie, please, if I can't trust you to take care of yourself and this baby. Okay, fight, fight, just go, go. I, I won't move, go! Mom! Hey, where's John? Uh, I, I was just about to ask Natalie. I'm assuming he's up there. Yeah, Brody just went up to see him. Any word on Star and Hope? They should be making the exchange right now. Send the full squad. It's a large area to cover. There could be multiple explosive devices. He's bluffing, right? He can't have the place wired to blow. Up. This little maniac killed my kids. I'm gonna give him myself. I'm gonna give you your money. Let's get your ass down here. Let's get this over with. Nigel Buchanan and McBain and all those guys with the big guns stand down. I want safe passage, boys. This whole place goes up. If the cops catch Elijah, they'll find out that he doesn't have Star and Hope. And they'll keep looking. 
But how long until they look my way? If Star and Hope get rescued, I have no chance with Cole. The only way that this works out in my favor is if those two are out of the way. <coughs> how long have you been coughing like this? I'm <coughs> fine. Oh, oh my god. god. <coughs> Damn. Alright, you know what? We're gonna take you to the hospital. <coughs> Is this a joke? No, honey. It isn't. But you and Daddy aren't my real parents? You're our daughter and always will be. But I didn't give birth to you. That's crazy. I was around when you told me you had her. No, you were in the middle of your standard state building. You never saw your mother enough to know the difference, Sean. We huh? just told you what we had to so that you would believe that Destiny was your sister. But I'm not! No, of, of course you are. How? <laughs> Sean and me have different parents. No. Greg and Sean aren't my real brothers. You... <sighs> Are you saying I'm adopted? No, honey. We are. Your father and I are your family. I, I know that this is hard. I can't be adopted. I've been with you my whole life. I'm Destiny Evans, nobody else. Well, you're right. And that's what we've been trying to tell you. And it makes no difference who or where you came from. It made a difference to Greg. This is what Eli had over you, huh? You knew what Destiny and I didn't know. That she was adopted. You know, you, you gotta calm down now, Sean. You let yourself get mixed up with some scum like Eli instead of telling your family the truth. It's not that simple, sweetie. And you? Why didn't you or Dad say anything? Why would Greg sell his soul to the devil it's rather than letting little D know that she was adopted? We never said she was adopted because she isn't. What? You are our flesh and blood. The stars up there right now? Yes, but I don't know if she and Hope are free yet, so we, that's why we just need to stay right here. John's working on it. You know, Eli is armed and dangerous. Cole, what do you- Cole! Oh, wait! Hey! You guys don't really have to come. I'm gonna get a cab and I'll get myself a dog. No, 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 not a chance, Bobby. Yeah, let's try. But what about Hannah? Look, my car is right around the corner. I am driving you to the ER. Yeah, and look, I'll help you guys get over there and I'll come back to my stakeout. It's cool. Sorry, I mucked it up. Hey, the only thing I want to hear out of you is that whatever the hell's wrong with you is, is fixable, okay? I'll be right. I probably just need some extra strength. Cough syrup. Bobby? 
Thank you, man. <laughs> For what? For helping me try to get you in. All right, well, all I want to hear from you is that you found a star. <laughs> come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, careful, careful, careful. All right. Okay, slow, 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 slow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> West, southeast corners of the complex. Two teams working in. All right. SWAT holds position. Have everyone else pull back. There we go. <laughs> nice work, McBain. That's using the old grape. No need for bloodshed. Not. And we're all so close to getting what we want. All right, Eli. Now it's your turn. Of course. And Danielle and I are going to make our way down to that van. As soon as we get there, I'll let Danny go. Blair and I'll leave all of you in peace. What do you mean, Star and Hope aren't here? What, what, what? Oh, Danny thought they were here too, but Eli does not have them. Listen, once we get out of here, we will find them. I promise you. Now, untie you before Eli comes back. No, Eli's not coming back here today. What do you mean? Because he doesn't want to be in this building any more than we do right now. Yeah. Listen, I don't want you to panic, okay? Do not get hysterical on me. But I'm telling you right now, this place. Eli's rigged. This place put the bomb. Okay, just stop. If everything doesn't go according to plan, well, he's gonna push a button. Oh, All right, then you, you, you can get the picture, so come on. Oh my god. You've been a great hostage. You're also be proud. <laughs> Everyone stand down. The suspect still has a hostage in the van and may be in possession okay. of an explosive device. Time to fly, Blair. Takes any action without a direct order. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You spying on me? I don't understand. First you're my parents, then you're not, and now you are again? No, that's not it. Then what is it? Y'all need to stop beating around the bush and tell me and D exactly what's going on right now! How can you not be her parents but be her flesh and blood? Because... They're not her parents. They're her grandparents. Destiny. I am your father. <laughs> I hope Destiny's okay. There it is, what'd I tell you? Loyalty. I'm just thinking maybe. Maybe I should go over to the hospital and make sure she's all right. Oh. Did you say that uh, her parents were with her? Yeah. Well, then maybe this is uh, a time for just family. I mean, if God forbid, if Dr. Evans is guilty, it's going to take some time for them to deal with that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, uh, we got to get to work on those portfolios. You now know enough to help me out with that. So come on, let's go. Now on, this family's now counting on you, too. Any messages? No. He was gonna let me know as soon as he got a flight out. I was hoping he'd come back tonight. You're wishing you'd gone with him, huh? <sighs> just finding his parents means so much to him. I just... I want to be there in case he needs me. I keep thinking about when we went to New Mexico last spring. We had been separated for so long, and then all of a sudden, it, oh my god, there I go again with the separation talk. It's okay. No. no. From this moment on, we're going to talk about something else. Something that doesn't have anything to do with Rex or Layla being far away. So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> um, want to help me pick my next slideshow? Marty, I'm 
I'm sorry. I can't let you go up there right now. It's dangerous. What, you're concerned about my safety? I don't want anyone to get hurt, including you. My granddaughter and my son, not to mention the man who killed my baby, are up there. I'm sure even you can understand why I need to get up there. Okay, I understand, but John would freak out if he saw you, Marty. You don't want to risk anything going wrong with saving your grandchild. No, Marty, please! Let me through right now or I'll start asking questions about why Bernie's so damn interested in your baby! The love of God, Liz, it hurry stop up! Stop it! I am! Would you just stop it? Hurry it! Don't do this to me, Blair. Don't do this. Okay, did he hurt you at all? Are you alright? Are yeah, you okay? Yeah. So much me. I don't want to do without you. Tell me to get a talk about Clark's hostages. Maybe you get star and hope, John. Eli, put it down, all right? It's over. Our lives may not mean anything, but what about all these kids? Start Hope's own side. Hey, man, if I can't have my wife, you can't have yours either. No, 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 no! <laughs>